Hello dear children. Today in this class we are going to learn or we are going to start a new chapter that is lesson number 13 Ron and the lucky portion of your English 2 book. So without any further delay let's get started. Ron and the lucky portion is an extract from the novel Harry Potter. We are going to learn or we are going to study about a particular episode from the novel Harry Potter all right and that episode is the game of Quidditch match here uh, the Quidditch, Quidditch match is a kind of match which is similar to football here they have a burglar okay which is like a football and they have to score goal and another one they have a small iron ball which is known as snitch and if they are able to catch that snitch then they will score more goal suppose if uh, giving a goal can score you 10 points then catching a snitch can give you 50 points at a time that means one goal and one snitch is equals to 60 one for one goal 10 points for one snitch 50 points then the score becomes 60 so it is like a football match but what is the difference here we have two kinds of balls here and in this story we have uh, two teams that is team Gryffindor and team team Slytherin all right the game is played between uh, these two team so in this game Harry's friend Ron was not very confident of playing the Quidditch match because the last year he didn't play it well and he, because for him his team lost the game but Harry on the other hand was very confident that Ron will be able to play well so uh, what Harry did was to make him aware that he is confident of himself or to boost his confidence Harry tried to add some potion a magical potion in Ron's juice which was seen by Hermione and and at once she stopped Ron and asked her not to drink that uh, pumpkin juice because Harry has added something but Harry didn't agree to eat whatever Hermione has accused him of he didn't agree later when the house of Gryffindor and house of Slytherin went to the field a referee uh, whose name was Madam Hook called them and asked them to shake their hands and mount their brooms and in this game quidditch match we have a commentator whose name is jacarius smith he didn't like or he doesn't like much the team team members of the gryffindor team that's why he keep on taunting uh, ron that though you played very horrible last year and this year you came back again to play the same match and I can understand why you are in this match because you have a personal friendship with Harry that's why you are able to take part in this match he was taunting uh, Zacharias Smith was taunting Ron in such a way but later when Zacharias sees that Ron is playing very pro properly very nicely he shifted his taunt to some other to some other uh, player of that team all right then the game goes on till what happened in the end uh, Harper from Slytherin house and Harry from Gryffindor house were the one battling to catch the snitch okay Harper was about to catch the snitch but Harry called Harper to distract his attention 
so that he could catch the snitch and win the goal for his team so what happened he uh, harry was successful in distracting the attention of harper and catching the snitch he made his team to win the quidditch match in the end hermione tell that you were the one to add a magical juice which which was known as felix felicis in the breakfast table right she asked harry harry said no i didn't hermione said yes you did that's why he was able to ron was able to save all the goals which were given by the team member of slytherin house but later harry said that i faked it so that ron could feel it that he has taken that juice and for that reason he was able to save all the goals but later he come to know uh, that means ron came to know that he was not under the power of that juice but he everything was done by himself he got that confidence he got that uh, motivation to play the game and he was the one who helped his team to win the quidditch match all right then let's move on to the exercise you can see here fill in the blanks with words from the story then number the sentences in the order of the events okay here i'm not going to read the whole sentences you can see i have given a uh, number on the square square box inside the square box first one is 4 then 8 then 3 then 2 5 1 7 and 6 next page number 114 circle the word that does not belong to each of the following sport number 1 goal 2 stumps 3 wicket 4 weights 5 javelin 6 volleyball page number 115 number 1 answer vain vain only the difference is the spelling understood then number 2 p a l e and p a i l number 3 l o o s e and l o s e number 4 s a l l e and s a i l number 5 s i g h t and next one is s i t e number 6 break b r e a k and number b b r a k e now we have rewrite the following sentence in indirect speech have you in indirect speech to direct speech have you read this book priya ask vinay priya ask vinay if he had read that book number 2 answer rob said veronica that the bus was late number 3 saima explained that she wouldn't be able to come for a movie since she had to visit a friend at hospital the next number the children sorry aunt lily advised the children not to go out until it stops raining next the tourist asked the policeman where the eiffel tower was last one the teacher said that she could speak french and german the next question rewrite the following sentence in direct speech the little girl said comma inside quotation mark i am waiting for my mother don't forget to give quotation marks and full stop next do not neglect sports said teacher to the students see where are the commas the prisoner said inside quotation mark i am innocent next please get ready for boarding in said quotation and then one comma the announcer said to the passenger next question i ask harry comma in said quotation what are you doing here question mark quotation closed oh i am late in said quotation the rabbit said 
next page 117 number 1 easily number 2 early number 3 beautifully number 4 quietly number 5 well number 6 hardest then we have explained with reference to the context number b yes uh, number 1 you should be expelled for that. Who said these words and to whom? Hermione said to Harry. Number B. What does the that refer to here? That is referred to the pumpkin juice given to Ron by Harry. Number C. Do you think the speaker was excited, shocked or joking? Answer. The speaker was shocked. Number B. Number 2. Yes, you did, Harry, and that's why Ron saved everything. Number A. Who said these words? Hermione. Number B. What did the speaker accuse Harry of? What reply did Harry give? The speaker accused Harry of adding Felix Felicis in Ron's juice. Harry replied that he didn't add anything. Number C. What effect did Harry's reply have on Ron? Harry's reply had an effect of self-confidence on Ron. So this is the end of chapter. Okay. Explanation and all the exercises. We have done it very fast. What you have to do is you have to do it in the copy and book as well. And then prepare all this for your examination. Thank you.